the number one stretch for a rotator cuff pain. Hi, if you're new to this channel, I'm Dr. K or Dr. Kareem Simori, and I'm here to help you optimize your health so that you too can reach your full genetic potential. Now, the number one stretch isn't exactly a stretch. Now, it does lengthen the tendons, which is technically a stretch, but if you take a look, you have four rotator cuff muscles. You have your supraspinatus spinatus right here, you have your infraspinatus right here, then you have your teres minor right there, and then on the front side of your scapula, you have your subscapularis. Well, all four of those muscles come and form like a common rotator cuff tendon right here, and if you put pressure right there and you have rotator cuff pain, you'll notice that it's sensitive. If it's sensitive, you can press on there safely and gradually increase your pressure to create a release effect. I recommend that you do this with a nubby release, which I'll show you a demonstration of in just a moment. However, if you don't have a nubby or you're unable to afford it, you can try a lacrosse ball or a tennis ball or a golf ball. None of them work quite as well, but they all do have benefits. If you'd like a demonstration of the rotator cuff release, simply go to nubbyreleases.com. You'll see there's a follow along program that'll take you through a 12 point tissue release program and each individual video clip you can choose. So you can choose the rotator cuff release and focus just on that one. I sure hope you find this helpful and that you find great relief. You no longer experience pain and inflammation goes down. Your range of motion increases or goes up. I love you. God bless you and have a beautiful rest of your day. Thank you. Bye-bye.